Hello, 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 Becoming Disciplined. How are you all doing this evening or whenever you view this? I just wanted to provide some value before I share my goals and roles. And just for anyone who hasn't, you know, that you're just discovering this video, this channel was about the most undisciplined man in the world, becoming a man of discipline. And hopefully along the way, I can help you. Uh, I'm different than all the other people out there who are spouting and talking and preaching about discipline is because a lot of them are these superheroes, these these captains of industry, these military heroes. Um, I'm not that guy. I am. I jokingly uh, it's not 100 percent accurate because I do have some places of discipline, I guess you could say. But I jokingly call myself the most undisciplined man in the world. Um, while I have had some pastoral leadership and some some places in life where I've had some responsibilities, even a military veteran honorably discharged. Uh, I've always struggled with weight and organization. And, um, you know, my wife jokingly says that I'm typically on time, but even though I'm on time, it's a frantic, uh, a lot of times it can be a frantic mess getting to someplace on time for me. So I get on time, but it's ugly how I get there on time. So with all that being said, uh, I think that there can be value added with someone like me because uh, you're not learning how to become disciplined from some Navy SEAL. You're not learning how to become disciplined from some superhero or some captain of industry. And every day, Sloppy Joe is on a path for discipline. And I'm going to become better every day. I'm going to record what works, what doesn't work. And um, hopefully there'll be some value provided to you. So what I do at the end of every video is I share how I'm doing with my goals and my uh, my objectives. And with that being said, before I, I start my goals and objectives, I go and try to provide some value to you. So here's your value moment. Um I want to talk about a phrase that Jocko Willink, a Navy SEAL, regularly says that uh, freedom, uh, excuse me, dis discipline begets freedom. Discipline begets freedom. And that freedom is what I want to talk to you about today. I was with my wife. This was family day. This was a Sabbath for my wife and my children and I. And uh, we were out and about and, you know, we we're about to order a meal. And as we're about to order that meal, I, I told my wife how good I felt that with me following intermittent fasting and with me counting my calories and my macros, um, man, food is much more enjoyable because I, I'm not riddled with guilt. Uh, about what I'm eating and especially when you're working out either every day or at the very least I'm working out since I started this process five days a week four days a week um, you're not riddled with guilt I'm not riddled with guilt anymore so I'm enjoying my food more I'm enjoying life more because when you do what you're supposed to do. That's what discipline is all about. When doing what you're supposed to do, it gives you a freedom, not just in your time and of your calendar. And it, it, uh, it gives you a health freedom, a medical freedom, but it gives you a freedom of consciousness that since I started this process, I think this is day 27. Since I started this process, I feel freer now than I ever have before. Um, man, my life would be perfect if these videos would upload more quickly. Um, uh, but I tell you what, um, this process has been amazing. And by becoming more disciplined, you become more free. Freedom with your food, freedom with your schedule, freedom. You have even greater free freedoms reputationally. Because once people know you as a person of discipline, then they trust you more. So I'm just embracing, um, embracing this, this newfound freedom that I'm having, and I'm just really enjoying life. So that's our, that's our value provided is 
that there is freedom in your discipline. So sometimes we think of ourselves like, oh, I don't want to be this. I don't want to be so restrained. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. Well, guess what? By restraining my calories, I'm actually enjoying food all the more. By, by keeping a calendar, I have more time. By doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I have more guilt-free guilt -free pleasures in life. So with all of that being said, discipline is not restraint. Discipline is freedom. We got to change our mind on how we think about that. With that being said, today was family day. I stuck to my diet. I worked out. I uh, had a great workout, stuck to my diet, enjoyed my family. Only thing I did wrong is I didn't stick to a six-hour window. I, I was around a seven-hour window. Uh, with that being said, my goals for tomorrow is bicep workout, 10,000 steps, sticking to my diet, six-hour window. Uh, I want to work for the job for at least five hours because I'm going to be taking a Sabbath, Rosh Hashanah, from Sunday night till Tuesday night. And I'm not going to be on the job. So I need to get some work done before that Sabbath closes. So five hours from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'm hoping to be working. Uh, I uh, also, another goal is that before church, you know, I just so y'all know this isn't a churchy channel, but church is one of my responsibilities. I want to have all of the song. I'm kind of like the Zoom DJ for our church. And another goal that I have for tomorrow is to have all the songs and everything queued up and be very organized so that everything's set up on my computer by 1130 when our service starts. So those are my, my, my goals for tomorrow. And um, if I stick to those goals, I'll have even more freedom. All right. Y'all have a blessed one and y'all take care.